Hey, don't be alarmed. This is Craig filling in this week on the main feed with a brand new Magic Tavern episode. The mysterious man is busy doing something mysterious. Ooh. Uh, if I know him, he went for a spontaneous breadicure. It's like a pedicure, except instead of getting your nails done, you eat bread. Anyway, you're in good hands with me. Enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the Tavern the Wander Lost in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, John the Talking Badger. Hey, baby. Hey, hey, baby. No, hey, baby. Arnie, is that Arnie, is that how I respond Arnie, to that? please. I'm trying to talk to someone at the bar. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hey, moved baby. to the bar. I'm Arnie. set up in the bar today. Are you... Okay. Oh, you are putting the moves on. Okay, I'll be cool. Is it all right, though, if I just record yeah. you putting the moves on this person? No, that I think that makes me look cool because... They don't know what a microphone is. Yeah, in this world, they still think men with podcasts are good, have good dating potential. Yes. Yeah, oh, Arnie, will you be my uh, uh, talent man? Yes. What is that? I mean, I know uh, I I immediately made an assumption about what that meant, but I, I think I'm going to need you to explain it just in case. Sure. So, uh, if you picture like an eagle's foot, um, okay. yes, you know, it talent. can grasp, but the talons they have talons, and those um, help sort of like secure okay, uh, whatever of, they're, they're grabbing on explanation of the talent part of it I, I, yeah what's the metaphoric like am i you want me to grab this woman and, and, and hold her no oh no 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 and she heard you and she's oh hey away. hi oh hey bell sorry baby uh, there's got to be a better name for that talon man yeah uh, wing helmet wing dude wing arnie i'm a badger uh yeah we'll figure it out arnie okay, how sure. are you doing I'm doing okay. It's nice. I'm setting up here at the bar for once. Usually we're over that table over there, but being over here is a little bit more where the action is. Yeah, we're in the thick of it. Look at all this. Uh, it's so wet. Is it okay if your laptop uh, gets wet? Ooh, that's probably bad. That's probably bad. Well, should we move back to our table? Um, yeah, okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, Usador! Yes? We're doing the podcast. Right, I'm, I'm at the table. Oh, shit. This, look, Chunt, let's make him feel like he was wrong. Uh, okay. Um, all right, I guess we'll do it at the table for once. Ugh. Hey, what? Usually we do this at the bar. Yeah, what do you mean? You, you Don't we usually do it at the table? Every week we're at the bar. You said, oh. we say this very bar. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, I am joined by my... I'm pretty sure we are at the table. What's that? I'm pretty sure we are at the table for... Nine and a half years? Well, let's bar this conversation, Arnie. Let, we'll yes. bar it for another time. Exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? My other co-host, Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak. The dwarves know me as Shonen and Hoogstangis. And I am known throughout the northeast as Gasmanius Maystar. Dump your and daddy lo, boy. in these dark and uncertain times. And low? Where... Th- Wizards amass power and form city-states. We must rise up and make sure that the world is safe for freedom and hope and beauty. Arnie, I caught a new name. Did you catch that? What? He said his usual names, and then he said, and low. Oh. I've never, I never really caught that one before. Low. Low. Yeah. Who calls Great you band? Who calls you low? Uh, well, I'm, I'm known to many of the dieters and Foon is sweet and low. Ooh, that's splendid. The dieters are real flirty with you. Have you never noticed that? I have noticed that, and I find them quite becoming. So, uh, Chen and I have been doing a thing where he'll pay attention to the first half of what you say, and I'll uh-huh. pay attention to the second half. The thing I latched onto in the second half of what you said was, the wizards are creating city-states? 
Oh, yes, amassing power and uh, becoming more and more authoritarian in their ways. It's despicable the way they have uh, composed themselves. I, I, I'm I, embarrassed that I was ever a part of their order. Yeah. In fact, uh, I shall make a pact with a, with a League of Dragons and with uh, seven angels to ensure that Foon is safe for the rest of all time. That fucking rules. A League of Dragon and seven angels? How, much, how many is a League? 20,000? 21. 21,000 or 21? Tw- just 21. So seven dragons, 21. Okay. Can you go over 21 dragons? Or is that a bust, like if you try and corral them all? A league is an up or down. It's a cross. Well, you have to get uh, a league is, you have to get a group of 21. And so okay. if you have two leagues, that'd be 42. Mm-hmm. No, I know how that works. I know how math works. If you had, if you had other numbers, I mean, I guess, I guess you could imagine dragons. If you wanted different numbers of things, but uh, guys, but I don't say this I, often. I wouldn't do that. I don't say this often. I'm so sorry. Can we please stop talking about this? Whoa! Wow! Oh, please. that's a good idea. You should say that please. all the time. I know. Arnie putting the uh, what's the word he uses? Kibosh on this. Wow, that's crazy. Well, yeah, let's bar it. Let's bar the conversation for another time. It's just getting math heavy, and I was almost starting to put ask, a sword in it. I was tempted to ask like municipal questions about what a city state is, but I, you know, maybe we should just get to our guest. I, I, he was recommended highly to me. Apparently, he's very famous, and that could maybe oh. bump up our cred uh, a foon side. Oh, there are a lot of people at the bar swarming around someone. Yeah, um, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can bring bring him over here. He's a knight. So be cool. Okay. I, I I think those are important. We haven't had many knights on the show. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. I'll be cool. Uh, I know lots excuse, of knights. Excuse excuse me, uh, sir, uh, sir knight. Uh, we're ready for you if you're ready for us. Oh, <laughs> what is up? Hey, whoa! Look at this gnarly old man. That is a rocking beard, oh, my dude. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I, I oh. grew up myself. And a little talking bear. What's up? Give me some steel. And a giant talking bear. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah well, that's fair. I've, <laughs> I've been called worse. Close enough. Oh, look at you guys freaking out. Can't believe it. Yep. Uh, oh, he is cool. He's sitting on his horse backwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the only way to ride it, man. Otherwise, you got their heads all bopping up into your nethers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's strange, man. Uh, it makes sense. I never really thought about it. Otherwise, you ride it from the back, baby. It seems like all these young people in the bar this evening are very en- enthralled with your presence. Oh, yeah, that's right. They all came out to see the diggity. Woo! Oh, <laughs> diggity. Oh. I'm, not fam- oh, honey, I'm not familiar with this night. <laughs> sir, sir Diggity? We usually don't have that many young people in the tavern. It's usually kind of old, sad drunks. Yeah, this is a, this is a party here. The babes are out. I want to thank you guys for having me on. Whatever this thing is, <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> oh yeah, this is um, uh, uh, sir. This is a uh, podcast. Um, it, it's it's sort of uh, it's hard to describe. It sort of goes up into the air and then uh, almost like pollen spreads throughout the land. Oh wow, nice. Well, I am excited to be the bee. That is me. <laughs> My name is uh, Sir Galwayne Diggity, and uh, oh, hold on a second. Uh, this thing is jangling like crazy on my side. Uh, he won't shut up. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I pull my sword out? He wants to say something. Uh, as long as you're not going to, to attack, attack us, that's fine. Is, yes. and all, as long as it's not a euphemism. No. Uh, oh, no, 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 man. It's, that's all That's all under a bunch of steel. You know what I mean? This sure. uh, It's an actual talking sword Oh, is what cool. I'm trying to say. Sure, yeah. All right. Take a look at this guy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, what do you want, man? I'm trying to be with the people. You're bugging uh, me, jingling and jangling around. Yeah, because uh, I'm hungry. Can you feed me, please? Uh, please. Oh, uh, sword. Uh, uh, what guys, does your sword eat, Sir Galwain? Oh, uh, well, uh, what a sword eats is a little thing we like to call blood. I eat blood. Uh, it's <clears> run through <throat> all of us. Either Any okay. of these three buffoons will do. Just stab one of them, please, and I can go back to no, sleep. No, no, no. Not it. Uh, hang not on, it. hang on. No. Yeah, this, these are friends, man. You only stab foes. Yeah, I, I need to go on another adventure or something because he is starving oh, and he's grouchy. You only <laughs> stab foes. I don't. I don't discriminate. Just, just stab him in the gut. That won't hurt. Uh, Come on. This is my awesome magical sword. Uh, people say he's the reason I am as great as I am. I like to differ because I think I'm pretty awesome regardless. But uh, oh. ladies and gentlemen, meet the. Uh, 
Oh, man, I never, he has like a really cool name and I always forget it. I just call him uh, Cladders. My name is the Mystic Sword of Kaldu, the former oh. Oh. sword of the great knight Sir Tartoon Nobleback at his See, this service, is what happens. sadly. But yes, gaze Sir upon Tartu me. Sir Tartoon Nobleback? Yes, that's true. Oh, Arnie. Uh, the tales of Sir Nobleback are well known throughout Foon. I, I try to uh, bring him into my quest. Where it must have been uh, nearly a hundred years ago now, uh, uh -huh. and he, he he turned me down outright. He said he was too busy defeating uh, demons uh, from the seventh level of hell. Oh, he was a giant snore man. You know, he would never, like, be with the babes. <laughs> he took some vow or something like that. I'm like, why are we doing this will, if uh, not uh, to slay babes? I will cut your tongue. Say no more. Say no more. No, to ease up, Clatters. is a Hall of Famer. He's a legend. Uh, Clatters, I want to apologize. Um, you were in the middle of saying your full name, and Usador interrupted you. And, um, oh, Arnie, I, that's I know never Arnie happened I, on this show before. I was going to say, Arnie and I have never done that yeah. to Usador. Yeah. Um, Clatters, did, we, did you um, have any more to your title, to your name? First of all, my name is not Clatters. That, that's uh, I, what, I don't care. That's what Diggity calls me. My apologies. I prefer the mystic sword of Kaldu, and I was referring it's, to Sir Tartoon, Nobleback, beyond that. You, you can call me the mystic Clatters. sword of Kaldu. It's a mouthful, my man. Mystic we got to shorten this thing. The world is about what can, you, what can you consume quickly in your ears, right? People remember Diggity. People remember Clatters. Everything else uh, you just said, I forgot it already. Yeah. Boring. Speaking, speaking of mouthful, if... If you could just plunge me into one of their guts, that will not kill oh. them. Truly. Ooh. That's the easiest um, thing to fix. Hey, big boy, you look like you're packing a lot. You mind if I nip a finger? No. Oh. Giant talking bear? Wait, you're, you're asking, you look. You say I'm looking like I'm packing a lot of fingers? Is could that... be talking to any of us. You know, it looks like you're packing a lot of the red stuff. Well, Arnie, sure. are you back on the red potion? Well, no, I wish. I wish. No, but I do have a lot of blood. If that's what you're saying. I think I need it all, or right. most of it. What about a tip? Finger tip. Let them munch on a tip. Usador, is there anybody yeah. evil? I mean, look, we probably don't want to make, like, any just immediate assumptions. But, like, you know, is there somebody that he can stab? Uh, there are some uh, orcs that have been coming in every night, and they keep taking Rick's lunch money. Ah, no, you know that. Not, not orcs. Not orcs. I, not orcs? Yeah, I mean, I prefer... He eats a lot yeah, of orcs. that's all we get. It's mm, uh, okay. Yeah. When's the last time you ate clatters? I kind of forget the last time we were out and about. Yeah, I, I, it feels like a millennia. I mean, I'm millennium. I, I don't know. It's been a long time. I'm so hungry. So sorry. Yeah, I've been kind of like uh, really going from tavern to tavern promoting my brand new mead. Oh. It's kind of like an energy mead. Ooh, yeah, it's, I got good. this. In, here, everybody take a nice. This is a handcrafted barrel that I've made oh, these myself. Wow. How about that? This is choice. Choice. The number one mead in the world. <laughs> well, Sir Gowing, Diggity, how do you find time to brew your own ale uh, betwixt your many adventures? Uh, uh, you must be uh, going on many adventures to be so famous. He, he doesn't. He My outsources. Thing is, Tell him. He doesn't make, he doesn't make it himself. Enough of that. Cla why are you clatters? Why are we always at each other's throat on this thing? Here's the thing. You're right. I have got to be on adventures a lot of time. Have I maybe outsourced the making of this delicious energy mead? to some small villagers for a low, low price. Maybe, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna stop promoting something awesome or having it done at a low, low price while I continue to go out and spread the great name of Galway Diggity. Hmm. C-H-O-Y-Z-E, -E. choice. Yeah, huh. what do you think about that? That was my, that was my choice on the choice name. Uh, um, I think this will only mean um, something to people who have listened for quite some time. Uh, Arnie, this tastes like blue perfume, I want to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure this is... <laughs> yeah, it gets you right in the I tongue. I wouldn't drink this. I wouldn't assume that I'm supposed to drink this. One, do you feel like you're having fun? Two, do you feel your energy going up? I feel like I'm dying. That's awesome. <laughs> You're supposed to let him answer the first question before you give him the second question. Mm -hmm. Oh, clatters. Oh, I, I have two questions for the um, mystic sword of Caledon. 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 Uh, clatters. Caldu. 
Uh, two questions for Clatters. One is, uh, can you just like stab up? Um, I don't want to insult you. Can you stab a plant? Will that still kind of uh... a plant? <laughs> Should point to a plant that has blood in it, my man. A no. I thought you were gonna say like an animal. Yeah, I you need an animal. Okay, just thought maybe like a, a beet or something. What and about then... giant lizards? Yeah. Sure. Giant lizards are good. See, here's the thing. If he doesn't want to kill the orcs that are taking Rick's lunch money, maybe we just kill Rick. No. Mm. There you go. <laughs> hey, remove the problem. Yeah. You're smart, old one. I like this guy. Oh, grammar get... for thine uh, uh, ab abulations. You are very cool, man. Does it have to be blood? Like, could it just be... A like, a I won't s name specific ones, but could it just be another bodily fluid? Oh, oh man, are you asking if he does water play? <laughs> I'm not done. Like, to, if if it would do in a pinch. Ah, uh, Arnie, name a bodily fluid. I I don't want to name all the usual ones that I'm always talking about too much on this show. I'm How would trying, bile? Do? I'm trying to be just classy bile. about I'll it. I'll do it. I'll help. Bile. How's bile? Bi I, look, bile. That's fine. A lot of times, blood is sort of swirled around in there. And yeah, look, if it's a survivalist situation and I have to go mm -hmm. on somebody's urine, for example, I could probably mm -hmm. get by in a pinch. But it's not a long-term solution. I want to apologize. Mm -hmm. I just woke up, so that's partly why I'm so okay. cranky. But it's I true. do, you know, I mean, I, I would imagine when you wake up, you're probably, I mean, what? One of you bears, you guys hibernate for how long is it? How long do you hibernate? About a week at a time. Uh, six seasons, maybe we've been going. And uh, we want to apologize um, to you, Mystic Sword of uh, Caladoon, because... Yes, call him Clatters. It yeah, eases the tongue. <laughs> I don't know if we were taking you seriously, but... The fact that you just said urine instead of piss separates you from, I want to say, 100% of the people we've had on the show and uh, <laughs> us ourselves. So, um, a deep bow to you, Sword. Oh, he's like that, man. He's very proper. He's always yakking away about the noble thing to do. He's missing the point of just being in the land and being in a party. <laughs> I, I think that's wonderful, Mystic Sword of Kaldu. Uh, Clatters. I take a knee to you. Oh, that, Do you want me to uh, stab him? Someone wants to be knighted. You want to? Oh, oh, am I allowed to do oh, that? Can I, oh, oh, can I be knighted? Yeah. I'm allowed yeah, to do can it. Can knights knight knights? Here's the thing. If I pick Clatters up, he does stuff. All right? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm not really handy with a sword, honestly. Oh. Mm -hmm. Clatters does the stuff. So if I pick him up and he decides to knight yeah, you, the whole truth night is, I, I take over his arm temporarily from time to time. Oh, never well. for anything fun. I'll tell you if that. If he allows. Well, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, um, uh, Usador's gonna get freaking knighted. About time. Yeah. Piss shit. Come, yeah. Arnie. Hey, man, let's raise some choice. Raise some choice. To choice. Oh, Arnie, you were saying how choice tasted. <laughs> yeah, piss shit and come. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. So, Sir Gawain Diggity. Um, yes, sir. I like the way you're working. <laughs> all diggity. All doubt. <laughs> It's a stage name. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you? Oh, oh. He, he used to perform on the back of a uh, of a cart. Tell oh, him. Yeah. I don't need to tell him. Why? That guy is gone, and from the ashes has risen this awesome night that people want to be with. I I'm just say. saying. Yeah, I'm you. just saying. There's something to lineage. There's something to where you're from and and ancestry. And I don't think that you should throw it all away for, you know. Performance. Uh, here's the thing for anybody who finds a magical mystical sword in the woods, they're always going to brag that you're not good enough. All I got to hear about is that old cruddy guy he used to be with, and I'm never good enough. Nothing I do is ever good enough. Wow. Oh. Well, what are some of your great deeds, Sir Gowing Diggity? Once you found a magical sword, did you save a kingdom or, uh, or, or free some captives from a terrible fate or, uh, or slay a monster who was terrorizing a town. Honestly, all three were the first one. Uh, apparently, oh. uh, well, I know this for sure. A king and his kingdom were being harassed by this big old dragon. 
Sure. I was wandering around. I say, I'll take care of this thing. I got this awesome sword. We have the biggest party I have ever been a part of. I come to a couple of days later. Apparently, me and Clatters tore this dragon up. Isn't that right, Clatters? Uh, the dragon was dead. The kingdom was saved. The people loved me. I do not remember a single thing about it because I was rocked. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, I, I, uh, Sir I, 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 I hate to criticize, but I believe the sword prefers to be referred to as the mystic sword of Kaldu. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yes, it's true. When we talk about lineage, yeah. I could not get that out of my mouth. Well, yeah, he, he can't string a lot of syllables together at once unless he's talking nah. about parties or... Yes. No. <laughs> Women. So so the, you just sort of take over and do these great deeds on his behalf. If he lets me, but, you know, if he's uh, drunk or unconscious, it's a lot easier to get uh, a, a heads up from him, I, I will admit. Us. So it's a real battle of the wills. Who's in control at any given moment? I have to go back. The first thing he did when he picked me up was he, he danced around like he was holding a cane and, and tippity-tapping along. Just buffoonish behavior. He had no idea uh. how to handle an honorable weapon such as myself. Oh, brother, you are jealous because I got the moves like Jagger. Uh, the magical, mystical elf, Carnu Jagger. Oh, Arnie, are you familiar with uh, Jagger, the magical mystical elf? <laughs> Arnie? Uh, no, no. Are you just He's... saying no because you weren't listening, or are you saying no to my question? Both. Okay. Well, Jagger, the mystical mini elf, uh, he uh, he's well known for the art of tippity tap dance. Oh, he's great, man. A really cool guy who had a really awesome breakfast food that he never let us eat. <laughs> you always had to chase him around if he came to your town. If you got him, ooh, man, that's good breakfast. Oh, that was is a good breakfast. Goat's head soup, I want to say. Was it? It was the Something tastiest like goat that. head soup I've ever had. Oh, I love goat's head soup. Arnie, we got to get you some goat's head soup. No, no, thank you. He wears a skin tight tunic. Oh, it's just, hmm. you can see every inch of him. Is there a real goat head in that? And, and if so, is there a goat head nearby? Oh, uh, shit. Um, ooh. Uh, mystical sort of Kaldu, I forgot to ask, what happens if you don't feast? Like, do you get brittle? Oh, that's a good question. What happens if you don't eat? Do you get off my ass? Well, oh, honest, honestly, I don't know exactly because I've never been with somebody who doesn't feed me as, uh, as he, as little as he does. But I can tell you, I feel brittle. I feel rusty. I feel heavy. Even with his weak arms, it, I, I, it's hard to pick me up. I've never had that experience before. I, now that you say it, I'm, I, I'm thinking maybe, maybe it is the end. Maybe I'm coming up to, you know, the last of my days here. This could be what? critical. Uh, uh, Sir Gawain, uh, you must be concerned. Uh, though it seems that you are sort of a frivolous person in nature, uh, if you wish to continue your fame and your notoriety, uh, it would behoove you uh, to ensure that you're feeding your sword. That's got, that's got to be somebody who's up to some some evil or some shenanigans yes. in here in the bar yes. tonight. Yes, yes, uh, yes, that's the spirit. I don't understand half of the stuff you said about hooves and stuff, but I need to save this sword if I'm going to stay famous. That's I gotta yeah. jab you into somebody. Anybody oh, will do, and it doesn't have to be over and over again. Just one slow, long stroke into the stomach, and then pull it on out. I should be fine for a week. All right, Clatters. We were gonna knight this old guy before. What if Clatters come over here? Clatters. Mm. What if, while I'm, he's kneeled down to get knighted, you just take an ear or something? An ear? Yeah. Take a nip of the yeah. old man's sure. ear. Yeah. He's not going to miss it. He's it's been like around forever. Appetizer. Sorry, what, what were you whispering about there? Uh, nothing. Uh, hey, you remember how you wanted to be knighted before? Oh, yes. I would I would greatly be appreciate uh, that honorific being bestowed upon me. Well, creak those knees down to the floor, old man, because I got a surprise for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is going to take a while. Oh, I hate these sounds. I hate these noises. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> He's just walking around in a circle, getting ready to, to bend down on one knee. Uh, this seems like a good spot. Oh, there he goes. He's finally heading down. Oh, there. By now I'm settled you, and ready to be knighted. You're, you're back in the chair. Can, can you get on a knee, please? <laughs> you got to be you on your knee. Up, you okay, walked around and you sat back in the chair. I, <clears throat> in order to do uh, this correctly, you got to be on a knee. It's all right. Can someone just uh, push the chair over and I'll sit you uh, Arnie and I got <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, There you go. We really have to get you a wheel thrown. There we go. Uh, I think I'm ready now. Yeah. All right. All right. Clatters, do what you got to do. <clears throat> if you will allow me to take over your arm. Oh, of course. Please. Have uh, that. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The power. Mm, let me soak in it for just a moment. Yes. <laughs> Everyone here is wrapped and watching what's about to happen. Now, I really could. Really could plunge. Uh-huh. And of course, the magical tally above the door it says uh, 251 watchers. Oh, it's jumped to 325 watchers. Well, we got 500 people watching. Whoa! Behold, Taverniers! Up and down! Ooh. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Oh. Yeah, lap it up, lap it up! <laughs> I thought they just sort of tapped you on the shoulder. Ah, 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 How is that, huh? Ah, How is that, my boy? Ah, ah. Oh my God, I feel so um, much better. Yes, yeah, there was a go. bit of an appetizer, <laughs> like a like a single fried Sex. shrimp, but it'll do. It'll do. Oh man, I feel like I feel like a million gold coins. Thanks. I'm I'm so used to doing now. What's that again? Oh, right. You got to... Did you... Uh, is he I, now Sir Usador? Oh, oh, so shoot. I forgot to do the whole preamble and the rigmarole. Oh, oh the ceremony. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I found your ear, though. Here you go. I should have said, I, I feel terrible. I should have said, we we have fried shrimp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You mentioned eating a single fried shrimp. I am so sorry. We do have fried shrimp. Is it... Oh. Is it alive? What? I can't... Uh, I feel like they. Sc- I feel I like once we start frying fry them, it. he dies and you yeah. fry. Yeah, I feel like once. Yeah. Got okay. I'm to be to be fair. I've never actually had a fried shrimp. I've had regular shrimp. Uh-huh. So I've seen people eat them. It was more of a metaphor. Okay. 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 I'm starting to think maybe you could eat anything you want, Clatters. You just like stabbing things. Or is that a simile? Hmm. I oh, do not know what that means. Point. Or just a hmm. I don't hmm. know. Your face is like the morning sun. That's a. Hmm. S- Sir Diggity, can I ask it? What were you know? Look, I totally appreciate you are now this knight, uh, yeah. and maybe you're less interested in what you were before. But I guess I'm just a little curious in the path that brought you to knighthood. Like, what was your life like before your better life now? Well, I was a squire for my uncle, who was a pretty mm. great knight, and uh, he went out into the magical woods to find this. Uh, what's your name again, Clatters? <sighs> The, the mystical sword of Kaldu. Yeah, that's right. There was a giant who was pestering some town or something like that. He found Clatters sitting in his rock that he was put in to slumber in, and uh, with his great honor, yanked it from the rock. But um, at the time, I was trying out a new crossbow that I just got, and thwing, thwing, thwoom, oops a doops. My uncle's down on the ground. He's dead. But there's old Clatters. I pick him up. He does this big, this big swirl of like golden light swirls around me. Suddenly I'm in like awesome armor. I, I'm like taller. I'm a little bit stronger. And uh, that's how you become a knight, I guess. <laughs> you're, you're, dan- you're dancing in the streets. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm just going to stay down here, Ani. Oh, that's okay, Usador. You can lay down there. Okay. okay. Oh, he's really gushing there. Get your, get your face mm-hmm. in there, Clatters. Mm-hmm. Get some more of that. Oh boy! Ooh, ah, mwah. Mm. choice. That's choice. That's choice. So, Sir Diggity, I just want to make sure you, you didn't intentionally kill your uncle. It was more of an oopsie doopsie. That was a big oopsie doopsie on my part. He was a great man, and he was a great Although, knight. If, and now, if kind I could of interject, I and I uh, don't want to overstep here, the authorities are still looking at that incident as to whether or not it was an oopsie doops. 
So I would never, ever do something like that on purpose. And anybody who reads these slanderous scrolls against me and my sure. past crimes, quote unquote, are just reading a bunch of I want to believe you. Also, there's a big range between a first degree and a second degree oopsie dupes, right? Like that. Yep. I think the best he can hope for is a man oopsie dupes, which is kind of the, you know, you kind of get a slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why would everybody be so upset about this oopsie dupes when I'm bringing everybody the greatest, highest energy mead you've ever tasted? It's choice, baby. Ooh. Can I have a choice well, down here? Ooh. I feel like I need some energy. Oh, yeah. Let's pour some choice. Yeah. The here you go. Oh! Take, yeah. It's healing. I think it's he I think it's healing. Oh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Oh, it's really yeah, it's bubbling fizzing. up. Yeah. Let's take a quick break. That's probably break. the piss shit and come. Quick break. Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. So, sir. Diggity, how did you get so famous? Like, you get this magic, you have a magic sword, you have a magic armor, do you just immediately become famous? I guess I don't know how young knighthood works. What I have done, what I have seen that no other knight has seen, is that the second I get this awesome sword and I'm doing stuff I've never done before, you know, mm. I, as soon as I got this thing, I did a backflip. You know what that's like? Here, try no. it. Get up and try it. Me? Are, are yeah. Try it. It's a knight. You said you said at the top okay, of the interview, I'll, respect this guy. Get up and give yourself I'll a backflip. I mean, maybe I'm secretly really good at this. Get okay, up and give yourself. Oh wow! Oh, oh two wow. on the floor. What the fuck? Two on the floor. <laughs> oh. Welcome. Yeah. Wow. Arnie, pour that. Now, how on, do you feel? Pour that meat on me. No, there you go. No, Here's some no. choice, bro. No, it's awful. Now. That feeling, that feeling you just got. I mean, I couldn't believe how wondrous I was. So I went from town to town, and I just started doing all these great feats, throwing these big giant parties. Suddenly people in towns are like, hey, will you, uh, you know, go around town to town, tell everybody my horse is the best horse? I'm like, heck yeah, give me some cash. Uh, will you go from town to town and tell everybody, nobody makes boots like I make boots. So I go around and do that. I get some money. We have parties. People come out to see me slay yeah. these crazy are, things. Are they really the best boots? Oh, God, not that. Whoever pays the most has the best what? boots. You know what I'm talking about, old man oh, on the floor? <laughs> and probably to tap yeah. into the youth uh, audience, um, I'm sure Clatter's helped in terms of his whole uh, cartoon network. Yeah. Oh, here's the thing, man. There is this untapped world out there of money that people aren't thinking about. Uh, you know, everybody thinks, oh, you got to cater to people you know, 20 to 25 in this world. Uh-uh, man. The youth is where it's at. They've got a lot of money that they want to spend, and that's who I'm connecting with. Wow. Sorry, Sorry I just got myself up off, off the ground. It, How do you feel, man? That's great, right? I feel terrible. I feel awful. Maybe I'm a little bit too old for your content. Is that possible? Oh, probably. I'm uh, pretty high octane. I'm pretty exciting. I'm like, if it's liquid, drink it. If it looks like you can eat it, eat it. Mm. You look a little frightened, giant talking bear. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, and Arnie, don't talk about my friend that way. There's no maybe about it. You are too old for the content. I just noticed so many of your followers here, people following you around, are really young. Oh, yeah. They follow me everywhere, man. I got a lot of them. I get new ones every day, and they just follow me town to town, trying to do what I do, talking like I talk. It is amazing. <laughs> he doesn't really do feats, though. He says he does feats, but what he does is he you know, does, like, keg stands and, you know, tries to eat more hot dogs than anybody else. And it can't, it, people come around and watch and throw coins at him, but... It's not like what I'm used he, to. He gets mad about that because when I, I when I don't need him to eat the hot dogs, I don't need him to party, and he gets jealous. I, He's jealous. Every, all these people who say I, I'm just a guy with a magic sword are so wrong because the guy with the magic sword ate 57 hot dogs in two minutes. <laughs> That'll kill you. That can't be good. Also, I see, I, I see a lot of the youth at the bar 
are wearing your boots, uh, and it seems the brand on them, it says Impressive Feats? Yeah, I came up with that name myself. Isn't that cool? I guess it makes everyone feel like they're a knight or they're doing something. I, I mean, ultimately, it feels like Platters is doing everything, and you're kind of taking credit yeah. for it. Yeah. No, 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 no. See, I take great uh, uh, qualms with that little tiny bear. Uh, <laughs> Cla- uh, Clatters, yeah, he'll take care of a giant dragon. I'm the one afterwards when the giant dragon's head is being roasted over a fire who's got the kids bumping, who are finding the knight in them. <laughs> That's a little catchphrase I like to shout out. Find the knight in you! Yeah, let's hear we are the knight! They all scream back. <laughs> and I gotta say, it's, it's hard. <laughs> everyone ah. stop screaming up. Everyone stop screaming up. That's back. right! Turn oh. it up! It's so Woo! old. Uh, it's, and I gotta say, it, it, I do slay the dragons. It's really hard to do because he will let me take over his arm, but he's running away as I'm trying to <laughs> swing. Oh, Have man. you ever seen a dragon? These things are huge, man. No way. I did notice his right arm is much longer than his left, so that must be from you battling <laughs> onward and he's sort of retreating backwards. Yeah, yeah. He's got sort of a plastic man thing going on with his right arm. Uh, <laughs> It works for us, you know. Also, one of his legs is longer than the other. He doesn't like to talk about it. That's why he kind of walks like he does. It's a strut, man. It's a strut. Um, Can we hear a few more of um, the sort of, uh, I guess you would call them catchphrases or um, proclamations you you make to sort of... Yes, the the dope proclamations I like to shout out. Um, Yeah. Here's something I came up with uh, to kind of battle little kids who uh, Uh have, you know... Self-esteem issues. You're battling okay. the self-esteem or the kids with stuff. So. <laughs> You're battling yeah, he little He pushes kids? them around. He kicks them. He shoves them. When I'm around battling little kids with low self-esteem, <laughs> makes him feel good. Okay. He's a bully. This is what I say to them. Should have been me. <laughs> Should have been me. That's the kind of battles I'm trying to fight. This guy's talking about, oh, uh, this town is being uh, harassed by monsters. I'm like, look at those little kids over there not believing in themselves. Let's get rid uh, of that's them. It. And that's the kind of battles I'm looking for. That's it. You, you, you sir, are a villain. I've used my magical healing rock to heal myself. And though I've lost a lot of blood, I shan't allow you to continue these evil ways. I challenge you to a bout of fisticuffs. Uh, what, oh, it. Do it, do tree. it, do it. Use me, use me. He's got like a little baby ear growing out of his head. Well, stop shoving me, old man. Uh, I'll shove you all I want. Oh, you're going to get it. You're, you're going to get it. Clatters it. to my hands. Ah. Ah. Ah, back on the Oh, oh man. Normally I would sit back and let this happen and kind of enjoy watching it, but Yusur is not immortal anymore, so we can only stab him up to a point. Uh, I've got a point. I'll stab him. Oh, Arnie, shit. why'd you have to say stab up to a point? What are you doing? <laughs> are you hungry, Clatters? Oh, Do you yes, want to eat? Please, please plunge me in. So, Sir Diggity, if I'm understand. So, Sir Diggity, if I'm understanding this correctly, you are a famous knight mm-hmm. who goes around and beats up uh, little kids with self-esteem problems, and that is very popular with probably slightly older, like, teenagers who are just are just like, oh, shit, I can't believe this knight is beating the shit out of little kids. Oh, I gotta the first time him. I did it, the followers I got was unbelievable. When you get up, you know, I was doing... Nice things, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Followers not really coming. The second I found this pack of kids feeling pretty down on themselves and started shoving them around, all of a sudden I'm surrounded by all these new followers. It's pretty powerful. Mm. Yeah, they all just left their home villages and they trail us around all day. Kind of annoying, honestly. Is there any magic going on or it's just pure personality? Oh, man, I think my personality is my greatest magic. (laughs) Yeah, debatable. I hate that he crossed his arms and did double P signs. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That's an insult. Oh, I'm glad places. you could see that through these heavy gauntlets on my hand. Yeah. I'm noticing a lot of your followers have like tapestries to sort of promote your feats that are mostly just giant images of your face, like making a weird facial expression. And then sort of on the side, over to the side, it's like you fighting something. Oh, I've got these great artists who paint my giant face on these things. And, you know, there'll be like a little word bubble next to my face. that's like, whoa. And next to the word bubble says, you know, ask me about the time I slayed, you know, whatever the fuck. 
And uh, it's to bring people in. Um, as we pass through town, the town, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who maybe have yeah. not heard the name Sir Gawain Diggity. And all of a sudden, through the town comes these giant banners, and people are curious. And they walk up, and they'll want to hear some stories. They find out how cool I am. They find out how alluring Clatters is. And suddenly, we got another follower. That's how it works, man. It probably could work for you guys. Get more people coming in here and listening to whatever this is. Hmm. Should we pivot to tapestries? We are mostly just an audio format. I saw one of those banners earlier in the town today, and I wondered what it was, and I wondered why are your eyes just slightly bigger than they should be. Uh, that draws people in. I. This is something I always say, and I think I came up with this, but the eyes are kind of the window to an awesome guy you should listen to. Huh. I saw one of the tapestries. I'm pretty sure it's a joke. It says that this fall you're going to fight Psych Tyson. Yes! The strongest mentalist in all of Foon? That's a joke, right? That guy Thank fucking, you for that bringing that up. Oh, he's going to get so killed, you all. He's going to get fucking destroyed. He totally will. Absolutely not. That guy plays mind games, and I've got a magic sword. He does not stand a chance. Uh, I hope everybody comes out to see this. It's going to be absolutely spectacular, and it's going to be sponsored by Choice! High energy mead for these high energy times. Wait, Clatters, you said that guy's going to get killed. Yeah. Who? who, who which one? You, you're, Him! You're, you're, Sir uh, Diggity's going to get killed. Oh, thank uh, you. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to be picked up by somebody else, or I don't know what they're going to yeah. do, try to melt me down. I got, you know, I have no defense if I don't have an arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever considered trying to sabotage uh, Sir Diggity because whoever picks you up has... Oh, he's far too better. noble. Far too noble to do yeah, that, right? You know, you don't, yeah, it's just you don't do that. You don't sure. take your own owner's life. I see. So, I mean, have, has it crossed my mind? Yes. 50 times a day, every day of the week. Could I just get away with this? But then, yeah, I mean, what are the other swords going to say? Yeah. Yeah. Mystic Swords Code. Yeah, Arnie, there's a, there's a few sort of you know, hard rules in Foon. You don't tug on Psych Tyson's cape. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much number one. Um, you don't cast a spell into the wind because mm -hmm. it'll come back at you. And then third, I believe, is you don't uh, stab your owner if you're a spell. Oh, that'd be bad, bad. Yeah. 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 It doesn't really rhyme, but those are the three rules. <laughs> we should have rhyming rules, Usador. What? Oh, um, here, I'll pour some more choice on you. The screams make you know it's working. Oh. Look at that, man. Like my tapestry guy is drawing a big old tapestry. You just became a story, my man. The day I beat up this old wrinkly man. <laughs> Why does the tapestry say, watch me shit on this wizard? Oh. Oh, wow. Sometimes I get suggestions. Oh, boy. Now you got to do it. <laughs> Thank God I just uh, ate 57 hot dogs in the town square. Hold oh, on a no, second. You just did that? <laughs> yeah, he's, oh, yeah. He's got a terrible you guys stomach, missed it? too. Oh. 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 All right, hold on. Why do I get these? Elastic things? band armor? How are you taking that off so quick? <laughs> What is this? Oh, you got to make it elastic. You know how quick you grow through, go through armor when you're a guy like me? When you're partying as hard as I am, oh my goodness, you go through armor very Wait, quick. Are these like pajama pants that are just like armor color? Yeah, I gave him actual armor and he took it off within the first 15 minutes and got pajama bottoms on. I just found out as I kept doing these great feats of eating that uh, my armor quickly became too tight to wear. And it is hard. You walk around like a big old sausage in a can. It hurts. Oh, okay. Well, you sir, uh, uh, don't worry. Arnie and I won't let this happen. Arnie, uh, uh, come over here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, What's going on? Let's come up with a plan to stop him from shooting on you. Hmm. Hmm. Stop Let's crawling away. We'll come up with something no! here. Hopefully, there's nothing going on behind us that we're not Get over here. Mm -hmm. I shan't. I shan't allow myself to be shot upon, even while Arnie and Chunt are distracted. No, for I am Usador, one of the great wizards of the great wizardly order, the only one left with any, any sort of uh, integrity. And if you uh, keep moving, I'm going to miss. Don't, don't Stop don't shit while you're walking. What if you shit and then just put it on him after? Can you do that? Who wants me to dump on this old lump? Woo! Uh, no, no. I am known to the defecators of Foon as as James Sphincter, 
And you don't mess around with Jim. Who thinks it's okay if he shits on the floor and then just kind of rubs it on him later? Now, oh, yeah, you gotta shit on him. I gotta be honest. All these people watching kind of dried me up. John, it's nice to take this long to think, you know? Truly. Mm-hmm. I feel like we never get a breather. This is nice. Yeah. Do you want a drink? No, yeah. What were we thinking? That's the thing. I can't remember what we were trying to think about. Good luck shitting on me when I have shat upon myself. <laughs> oh, you should have told one of his weird stories. You blew it. You blew it. Now everybody's booing. Oh, wow. Oh, I am victorious once again. Uh, now can I stab him? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to eat that. It's covered in shit. I'm sure you could find an open piece of flesh somewhere. It was right on the side. Usador the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adel Rafai. Sir Galwayne Diggity and the Mystic Sword of Caldu were played by special guests Brendan Jennings and Mark Ratterman. Check out their Hollywood satire podcast, Get It to the Dutch, A Screenwriter's Journey, on iHeartMedia, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Bill Johnson, Fen Shegway, Marty the Fish Zimmerman, Cal Drogo, Spitz Witsley, Bill the Mustache Henderson, Fork Morganson, Old Buttery Bimbo, but I, I'm kidding, none of these are real. I'll save the long list of Patreon supporters for the mysterious man to get back to next week. That said, patrons get ad-free episodes, all the spinoffs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. Most importantly, you get a lot more of your old pal Craig over on the Patreon. Honestly, that's reason enough to sign up. In fact, go sign up right now so I can see some kind of Craig bump in the metrics. Prove to the powers that be that nothing moves the needle like more Craig. To learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Al Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Hoverman. This episode edited by Benji K. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBon. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. See you next time, folks, or on the Patreon feed. Yeah.